how did I come to know Jesus as my saviour? That's a long story, um, but I'll try and make that short. Um, again, you know, I, I was brought up not as Christian. Uh, I didn't believe in God. And my family didn't really go to church. But when it came to about 16, 17, uh, my mum and dad got divorced. And uh, instead of me leaving the house, they left the house and I was left alone. And I was quite a young 17 year old back then. So I, uh, I don't know, because mum and dad are away, you know, they say the mice play. So I got involved in different, different things and to the point where, you know, I started to take, you know, drugs, you know, acid, LSD, ecstasy, you know, dope. And uh, it was uh, quite good to begin with, really good to begin with. But then things started to set in and I started getting paranoia. Um, where I couldn't go out the house or I couldn't meet people or couldn't talk to people because of the drugs effect in my mind and on my body um, to the point where you know um, I, I was crying out for something and I tried to satisfy that cry in my heart through relationships you know through drugs through different kinds of things and uh, I remember one time I tried to escape that and I thought, okay, let's go to America. So I went to America for six months with a friend and worked along the East Coast there. And uh, I remember one day, uh, one night, and we were just, you know, partying and I took some LSD and uh, I was on the beach there and uh, it was just sunrise was coming up. And uh, my friend who we'd been partying all night with, he said, uh, John, we need to give our lives to Jesus. And uh, before that had happened, my, my, my brother and my sister-in-law, uh, they were into the same sort of lifestyle I was, and they'd given their lives to Jesus as well. And uh, so it really took me back, and I was astounded that out of the blue, this, this, my friend said, come on, John, let's go to church and give our life to Jesus. And it's at that point where my heart really started to hunger for truth. What is truth? Or who is Jesus? What was my purpose in life? And there I began to understand or begin to have an inclination that maybe Jesus is the answer for this pain that I'm suffering with. You know, because I was trying to, you know, dampen the voice, dampen the hurt, dampen the pain, you know, through drugs. Um, but there's really a heart cry within me for reality, for truth, for love. And I came back from America and uh, I went back into the same lifestyle for a few months uh, to the point where my brother asked me to come to church. And I knew at that point that if I was going to go to church that night, my life would be changed. I had this knowing, this feeling, because there was this inclination, this knowing that Jesus, there's something about Jesus. He's, he's not just a, a name in a book. He is, he is real, and I begin to understand that. And I liken it sometimes to, you know, for me it was like I'd been in a dark room for 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 years, and someone was turning the dimmer on slowly, and I began to see everything in its entirety in that room. And it was like that for, for Jesus already, that Jesus began to reveal himself to me in a greater way than I've never known before. And I went to church that night and uh, the pastor preached on the love of God, who God is, who Jesus is, what Jesus came to do for me, to save me from my sin. And uh, I know sin's a big word or a religious word, but sin means, means missing the mark. And I really knew I'd missed the mark, I'd messed up big style, you know, and all I had was a bag and I lived in a bed sit, that's all I had, and I didn't have anything, didn't have any friends, I thought I had friends, but I didn't have friends, you know, and uh, before I went to church that night, I went to see a friend and I uh, said, hey guys, tomorrow I'm, I know I'm supposed to give my life to Jesus, I know that's what I'm supposed to do. I know he's, he loves me, 
I know I have to do this, you know. And uh, that night, I went to church and I, I gave my life to Jesus because I came to understand that He came to save my soul, my soul, my emotions, my person, the, the real John from sin, from death. And uh, it was at that point I realized how much He loved me, how much He cared for me. You know, I began to understand, like it says, uh, that he, Jesus came to heal the brokenhearted. And I had a broken heart through mum and dad getting divorced and just through people hurting, not meaning to, but that's just life sometimes. And my heart was broken and I needed someone to heal that heart and drugs couldn't do it. The, you know, friendships couldn't do it. And I knew that only Jesus could heal my heart. And it was at that point when I accepted Jesus as my saviour as I became a Christian, that my heart was healed. Um, and from that point onwards, you know, God has gradually healed certain areas of my life to the point where now I feel so, so satisfied. Not because of earthly possessions, not because of anything else, except Jesus has come to heal my broken heart. And it's awesome. It's the best thing that can happen to man.